Hello everyone! Today we'll continue learning some juggling tricks with balls. <laughs> so let's start by remembering how to do the three ball cascade. This is the three ball cascade. It's the basic pattern with three balls. We saw this on the first lesson, so if you want to go back to the first lesson and go through the step by step more in detail, you can. Right now we're just gonna go through it really quickly. So remember we start only with one ball, throwing from one hand into the other with no too high throw, not too low throw, kind of to your eye level or your head level, okay? Once you have this really good, we go for our second ball. Remember we use different colors, so we choose one color and we always start with that color. In our case, orange. It's the okay. same, it, do it doesn't matter, but just to do it easier, choose one color. Yeah, have different colors, choose one color. And you're gonna do the same throw, both two times, with both balls crossing from hand to hand like before. So. In this part, it's really common to do this. That is wrong now. In the future, it became a trick, but now it's not, it's not good because we want to do this. Okay, so really focus on both ball crossing and not passing one ball from one hand to the other, okay? Also, it's gonna be really common to throw the second one front. Just practice. Okay. or to throw one higher than the other. That's really common too in the beginning. It's just a matter of practicing until you have it really good. And once you have this really good, like no drops, nice freedom, then we go for our third ball. You can forget the color. And remember we start with the hand that has two balls, always. And we just do the same throw, but three times. So it will be one, two, three. And then remember we can build up more and more throws until we are juggling the three ball cascade. Okay, so moving on, if you already have the three ball cascade really solid, let's say 50 throws at least, like really solid, then we're going to start learning some tricks. Today we're going to learn the ping pong trick. This is the ping pong trick. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the ball go ping pong, <laughs> okay? And for this, it's gonna be useful again to have a ball of a different color so it makes it really clear which ball is going ping pong, ping pong. So you can see the throw of the green ball is like an overthrow on top of the other two balls, okay? So to start with, we're gonna do that throw only with our right hand. So every yep. time the green ball is oh, in our right hand, we're going to do the throw. Okay? And then we're going to do the same, but now with our left hand. So every time the green ball is in our left hand, we're going to do the overthrow. Okay? And now we go into the actual trick, which is the green ball is going to keep going one hand into the other over the other two balls <laughs> okay the next thing that we are gonna learn today is two balls in one hand so once you have the cascade really solid this is a good uh, exercise to continue the progress so, two balls in one hand. First of all, we need to see that the throws are higher than the three balls cascade. So, if you do the three balls cascade more or less this high, look how the two balls in one hand is going to be higher. Okay? Uh, next important thing is you need to throw from outside to your how can I explain? Yeah, so the hand, you see how the hand goes like inside his body as he throws? So that's the way we want to do it. And also you can see that he's not throwing the balls in one in front of the 
filter, okay? That's a mistake we don't want right now. We want the ball this to be like in the circle. It's not now. It's not good now. Yeah, you okay. can see there. You don't want to see. In there, the balls are going one in front of the other. No, we want this. them on the circular motion. This correct. This is wrong. Wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, to start, just put the two balls in the hand. Remember to throw higher than the three balls. And remember to go in. So you can start with three throws or four. And also remember to practice your other hand yeah, because normally sure. people only practice their good hand and then the bad hand needs more practice to be able to do it. And just for you to know, this in the future is gonna be the four balls. So look how the balls... The orange ball stay on his right hand and the green ball stay on his left hand. So Even if it looks... Four balls might be. Even if it looks like it's, like the balls are crossing, they are not crossing. You can see? If I open a little bit, you can see clearly. Okay? But for the moment, just practice two balls in one hand and then the other one. Try to do, I don't know, at least four throws. That would be like a good to start. round to start. We know we insist a lot on you having the three ball cascade solid but that is because having the three ball cascade solid is the beginning to being able to learn all the other tricks in juggling because if you don't have that quite good then it's really hard to make the next type of throws or body throws okay so we do know that sometimes it's a bit annoying like oh i have to have 50 throws in a to be able to do the next trick but trust us it's gonna be better that way and it's gonna be easier to learn okay now we're gonna move into some pair juggling so we're gonna start with the really basic on how to do passing so passing the ball really really basic two people uh, we're gonna need three balls to start with and you're gonna stand in front of each other and what you're gonna do is the person that has two balls is going to throw on a cross way into the other person so from his right hand into my right hand and, then and the person that only has one ball is gonna throw in a straight line okay so uh, and to start i'm gonna throw to the empty hand yes so what we are gonna do it really slow. So, so cross, 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 straight, cross, straight, cross, straight, cross, straight. Make sure you don't throw both at the same time. It's one at a time. Now we can throw when the ball uh, arrives. After it's gonna be necessary to throw a little bit Early. uh, earlier when the ball is in the in the what now? You can catch, throw. And then try the other way around. So I was throwing I was throwing straight throws. Now I'm gonna be the one that throws a uh, cross. Okay, once you have this really good, or if this was too easy, now we're gonna go into five balls. So one person is gonna have three balls, the other one is gonna have two balls. And it's going to be the same, you stand one in front of each other. The person that has three balls is going to throw cross and the person that has two balls is going to throw straight. And now we, can, we, we need to throw uh, the, ball, the next ball when the other one is on the... Up in the air. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm sorry. Remember, he's throwing cross and I'm throwing straight. So he's gonna start with the hand that has two balls. He's gonna throw cross into my right hand and then I'm gonna throw straight into his hand. So you see how now we throw when the previous ball is up in the air. 
And then you can try the other way around. So now I throw cross, he throws straight. Remember, start with the hand that has two balls. Now there's no empty hand, but just remember that you have to, if you are throwing cross, just throw cross. So the hand that has two balls and cross, cross, straight, cross, straight. I'm so confused. Okay. This one is easier once you have the three balls cascade. But if you don't have the triple cascade, don't try because it's not it's not possible. Yeah. Or keep practicing your three ball cascade and also practice this, but remember the three ball cascade is the key. So these exercises are for in the future doing some passing. We're gonna show you really quickly what passing looks like. That was it for today's lesson. Remember to share your progress with us. So try to record yourself uh, trying the exercise and then send them to us so we can help you see how you're doing and also share your, your videos and your progress. And also if you practice during the week, try to record yourself and send them to us. And that was it. We will see you next, no, this Friday with the next lesson. And goodbye. Fun.